Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this one, I wanted to share what I believe to be the only three things that you need in order to start or scale your existing online coaching business. So we've been able to help a lot of people start and grow their own consulting or coaching businesses. Just to list a few names, we've got Kyle Dindy, who worked with us back in the day. He worked with myself directly. He went from about 10000 a month, and he's now doing over $100,000 a month in his business. Our client, Bastion Slot, went from zero. He was working a sales gig, worked with myself directly, is now doing over $200,000 a month in his business. And to reference some smaller, uh, you know, some smaller successes, we have Doug and his wife who are inside of our program. And they've been able to, in the first two weeks of being inside of our program, generate over thirty thousand uh, dollars in sales for their coaching offer, where they help influencers uh, launch products to their audience. Uh, Kyle does PR, and Bastion helps with organic marketing. By the way, Zach Colburn, who'll be on this channel soon, he went from about four to five thousand dollars a month. Worked with myself. And that started a chain of events that has led to him doing anywhere from forty to fifty thousand dollars a month in his business. So, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to this stuff. I run my own consulting business. We help people do this. What I'm talking about right now. Um, and you know, we've had a six-figure profit month in January, our first ever, which was a lot of fun. Uh, and obviously, now we're working more on the back end, working on making sure our clients are actually happy when working with us, as opposed to just selling more people. Uh, and we get some of the best results on the market by far. That's why our clients send us more clients all day. So just to build some authority before I get into, you know, what I believe it takes in order to start and grow your own coaching business. And hopefully that doesn't sound too flashy or tone deaf to people, but I just want to use raw numbers, real people, real names that you can look up, people that are totally fine with me using their name because they credit us, if not directly, at least indirectly for allowing them to scale to those levels. So moving into the video here, what are the three things you need? Well, I'll, I'll summarize it very quickly and then I'll dig into each of them more specifically. So you need a QER, which is a quantifiable end result. Okay, and we'll get into what that means with your program. So you need to have something, you need to have an outcome you're selling. Okay, next you need to have a clear defined niche. And I'm going to get into this and, and I'm sure you've heard this a million times. But I'm going to share from my own personal experience the importance of not just knowing what niche you serve in your head, but actually communicating it properly in your messaging and making sure that people know who this is for and who it's also not for. Okay. Um, and then lastly, you need to know your numbers. Okay. So I'm going to get into each of these things here right now. So QER, what is a QER? Well, essentially, you know, when you're selling a course product or a coaching program, you've got like a three, five, seven thousand dollar group coaching program or something like that. Uh, you know, I ran into a girl out in California who follows our content, who helps women with binge eating. And she was able to, you know, go from charging like a thousand dollars to twenty five hundred dollars for the same product and get her clients more results. And that's because she told me she heard something that I said about QER. You sell the outcome. You don't just sell what you do. You don't say it's a six week program or it's a 12 week program. You say, look, you are where you are now and you don't want to be there anymore and you want to get here. And you say you can't get there because of this reason. Well, I want to solve that reason for you. What's it worth to solve that problem? So when you sell based on that gap versus selling based on you know what it is that your program includes, that's when you can charge more, have more buy-in, get better results for clients, and scale a lot easier in your marketing because you're going to be able to hit a lot more people by calling out their problem versus just talking about what your product does. So that's a brief, brief summary of QER. It's worth taking home. It's worth looking at your marketing and seeing if you're following that principle in your day-to-day, -day, you know, Facebook, YouTube, podcast, whatever it is that you're doing to market your product. Uh, if you're running ads, whatever, talking about outcomes versus talking about what you do is the best way to help ensure that you're going to hit new target markets scalably and predictably, as well as selling people that are in your market, in your warm audience, even better. So moving on to the next thing, niche. So, you know, if you look at what we do at its core, if you boil down my company, really what we do is we help people generate sales calls, get good at sales and build an offer. And so I could present that to a lot of different niches. I could present that to agency owners. I could present that to coaches. I could present it to consultants. I could present it to experts, people that have a mastermind. I could I, like, there's a lot of people that I could do that for. I could represent it to, let's say, you know, experts in their field. Like I literally thought at one point I, I said I could work with college professors to help them package their understanding and sell it online so they can make more online than they would as a college professor, right? And also have more control over their income. Um, you know, there's like so many directions where what I do can help because at the end of the day, we're really good at helping you package and sell, you know, your advice, your uh, expertise, or even your services, right? And that really just means getting sales calls, understanding the basics of selling, 
and then uh, knowing how to get clients results predictably and at scale and that applies to a lot of people but you know you'll probably notice you know a shift in my marketing where I'm realizing like look there's a lot of people in my audience that want us to help them start and grow coaching businesses sorry my camera cut off I'm not really sure why and I totally forget where I was at in my thought process but essentially our service could help a lot of people but if I don't call out a certain group of people and I kind of say this is for everyone then at the end of the day my service is for no one and I've experienced massive growth and massive shrinkage in my business because when I speak about a certain sort of person they feel called out and they're like oh this is for me you know um, but if I don't do that and I, and I don't speak about that certain group of people and I just say it's for anyone and everyone that needs this versus saying we're gonna solve your problem by taking you from here to here I know I'm using a lot of like uh, not using a lot of nouns <laughs> but uh, you know Instead of saying, this is what we do, saying, if you are this, you know, you should listen because we'll be able to get you from here to here. I hope that makes sense. Um, so, for example, if you're a software company, you know, you don't talk about what your software does. You talk about the solution it provides, right? Uh, you don't talk about how long it took you to code it. You talk about, you know, who it's for, what solution it provides, sort of like QER. So your niche, you should know and be able to summarize what your niche is and what you do for them extremely quickly because you'll realize that even though you could help a lot of people with your services and frankly I believe that if anybody has the budget the energy and the in the like emotional um, buy-in to let us help them then we're gonna be able to help them like if, if they're pretty much at any walk in business because we understand the basics and the basics are have a good product understand the numbers of your marketing you know get good at sales and grow your team I mean it's just like pretty simple right and even my buddies that run this local software startup connected they do like 20 million a year and you know I'm sitting over here at a measly 1 million a year <laughs> and we still share notes like it's the same game of course they're running into different bottlenecks there's different issues uh, but I believe you know we could help most business owners but I'm doing myself a disservice and I'm shooting myself in the foot by not calling out a specific industry so your job as a marketer is to have a really good service something that you believe could work for a lot of people but target a certain subset of people and really get good at speaking to their pain points like for example we've got some content planned for coaches on you know how to pick your niche and you know how to charge more as a coach and you know how to have confidence in your coaching offer because a lot of people when they start off they're not even sure that they have the authority to do it right um, or people who are already doing ten to twenty thousand dollars a month how to scale that further with advertising or with you know more skilled organic marketing practices we know the pain points of the industry because I've worked with, at this point, over 500 business owners, a good majority of them moving into coaching and consulting, right? So, uh, that being said, know your niche. If it's for everyone, then it's for no one. And last but not least, this is one of the areas that we dive into deep inside of our High Level Systems program, and that is know your numbers. And before I get into know your numbers, I do want to do a quick call to action. Book your call with myself or the team using the link in the description below if you are on the fence about joining us or you have no idea what it includes or you just want help in growing your business again we have one of the best track records in the industry for what we do moving on to the final point and this is something that we hit hard inside of our high-level systems program and that is know your numbers that means know what it costs in order to get a call know what it costs in order to get a sale know what your average customer is worth and know essentially based on those numbers what projections uh, such as how many calls you're gonna need to take in a month or in a year or in a week in order to reach your monthly quarterly yearly goals okay so for example I know that industry average closing rate for a consulting offer is something like 30 to 32 percent uh, often it's a little bit lower like 25 to 20 percent but industry average about 30 percent so I know that for our clients if we can equip them with strategies and methods to get at least three sales calls a day and they have at least a three to five thousand dollar offer that we've helped them build that they're ready to sell we've equipped them to literally scale to six figure months in profit okay and you can check out an interview with our client Lucas a couple videos back on our channel and he's literally on track to doing that so it's a really really simple model once you know the numbers right what's your client worth what does it cost to get a client based on what it costs to get a call times how many calls it takes to get a client you know your closing rate therefore you've got your cost per call if you're running ads for example it costs you 100 bucks to get a sales call then you know you're gonna spend and, and you close one out of five you're gonna spend 500 bucks to make a sale right and that's overly simplified math there's obviously other metrics involved in there but to be honest with you 
I run my business and I think everybody should run their business off of those overly simplified metrics because it keeps you from focusing on things that don't matter. By knowing your numbers, you can actually project the growth of your business and really get rid of any unnecessary underlying anxieties as an entrepreneur. Most entrepreneurs are spinning their wheels constantly promoing, hoping the money comes in and they can't sleep at night. They can't rest. They can't pull back from their work because they're constantly, constantly trying to get the next client in the door, or trying to figure out what the next rabbit they need, they need to pull out of their hat is. When it was in reality, if they just stuck to one method, whether it's ads, organic marketing, Facebook, YouTube podcast, or it's YouTube, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, LinkedIn cold messaging, email marketing, whatever it is that you're doing, if you knew your numbers, you could scale it consistently if you knew your closing rate and you knew what it costs to get you a call. It's, it's truly that simple to scale a business consistently. So these are the three things I believe you need in order to scale to ten to $20,000 a month as a coach. I believe that's something like what this video is called. I mean, to be honest with you, you can take these methods and scale way further because these are just core concepts that we apply to our clients' businesses, that we apply to our own business. And look, I'm gonna quote one of uh, my favorite authors of all time in saying, what got you here will not get you there. Okay, so if you are a coach or you are an agency owner, you have a consulting service and you're ready to scale it, or you're a total beginner and you just wanna work with people that will help you set up that offer from scratch, get your first sales calls in the door. We have a client, Nicholas Kutch, who went all in with our program, literally from scratch, never ran a business before, just closed his first client within about a month of joining us and he's gonna to continue to grow. Whichever stage you're at, beginner, intermediate, advanced, you're already making money, we can help you by simplifying the process of growing your business and give you clear, action-driven coaching to move you from that place where you are now to whatever goal you feed us. If you're doing 20,000 a month, you wanna to get to 80, we're gonna look at your offer, figure out what's wrong, figure out what the gaps are, give you a game plan to get you there. If you're just getting started and you have a bunch of different ideas about what niches you can go after, work with us, we'll help you figure that out and get you maybe to that six figure, multiple six figure yearly mark. It's what we do all day. Book your call using the link in the description. Do not hold off on this, okay? If you want to take your business growth seriously, you have to get help from people that have been there, done that, and have replicated the process for tons of other people. And by not investing in the right help at the right time, you're shooting yourself in the foot and you're keeping yourself from being able to grow. And we only make offers to win-win clients. So if you're not a good fit, we're not gonna pressure you into anything, okay? Our reputation is on the line. We know that as internet marketers, word spreads really quick. We only wanna work with people that we know we can help. And frankly, we're really good at it. So schedule your call using the link down below and either I'll be speaking to you or our community success manager, Brendan, who's in charge of making sure that all of our clients are happy inside of our program, making sure that our program stays up to date, as well as our coaches do their job well and our clients are enrolled swiftly, he'll be speaking with you as well. So if that sounds good to you, book your call down below. This has been everything that I believe you need in order to scale to ten or $20,000 a month in your coaching business. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.